Hi, called Poon Pisa here. We create thinking with our brains. Now, I love all my fellow humans, um, uh, but I hate schizophrenia, I hate religious psychosis, I hate AIDS, HIV AIDS, and every disease that affects my fellow humans. Religious beliefs is one of them. I love you, but I hate your illness. Everything's in the brain. It is a fact. Totally known, um, like you could see people in high stress jobs, like you know CEOs, sometimes of presidents of the United States. After four years, they start turning yes, gray. Really depression fast. happens Listen, in the brain. Yeah. Um, well, he had Does it come from it. gods um, or other it's imaginary been known friends? Anecdotally, but it's never been shown. A statistically, and more importantly, there's never been um, demonstrated a mechanism by which it can happen. If depression does accelerate aging, how does it do that? That's what we need to know if we want to try to stop. Here's a classic example of depression. Uh, you know, really uh, fear and and uh, believing in zombie Jesus stuck in the Middle Ages is awful. It's terrible disorder these people have. Outline at the end, it'll be a much more filled-in model. So we can talk about chronic stress that you're likely to experience problems if you're stressed, if you have certain genetic makeup that makes you susceptible to stress. So However, genes. even if you've had good genes, if you had early life adversity, if you had a very bad upbringing, that can cause you to be more sensitive to stress for the rest of your life. That's very interesting. That's getting a lot of prominence right now as a theory. Exactly. As a consequence of these things happening, your cortisol, your stress hormone may go up. You may lose. So this is a this may be a bad thing if this goes up. Neurosteroids and brain growth factors may be protective. So while you're having this damaging agent go up, you're losing certain protective factors like neurosteroids, like DHEA, and brain growth factors like BDNF. One consequence of the cortisol is that the DNA may start aging. I'll spend a lot of time on this. And no matter how much you pray to some Jesus, you cannot eliminate the cortisol. It's in the brain. And this delusions infect you, and it's an awful disorder. I mean, I'm just a messenger, I, you know, this is, this is fact. Start developing neurotoxicity. That means your neurons may start to um, be exposed to toxic events, yeah, and your neurons may start to get damaged. They may be vulnerable to damage, and, and they may the, Brother, it's a lot of the Christ psychotics and people that believe in God and all that crap don't realize that the brain is producing all these emotions, this I'm saying. <laughs> depression. I, I this talk to, and believe. Um, NAMI, the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill in Santa Clara a few months ago. And most people liked the talk, but one um, person wrote back to me and he says, that was a very depressing talk, and now I feel much more depressed than before like I heard Like a religious talk. idiot. Um, Depress a person feels if, you know, they're being taught that some be Jesus or Muhammad and all this stuff, and all of a sudden they realize there's no life after death? And they're going to be eaten by bacteria? And there's no life? They saw some bejesus. Oh boy, very, very depressing. There's a lot of people commit suicide because of that. Brain dying, and I'm going to get you know, heart disease. And yeah, all this. religious so beliefs. If anyone's talking about that, they'll take this as fair notice. But the, the point is, what I'm talking about, they're really rather subtle signs. I may make them sound more um, magnified than they are. They're very relevant to researchers, but they may not impact upon you as an individual. I think if any take home, if there's any take home point you should take away from this, is not only that depression may put you at risk of certain adverse events, but the good news is that antidepressant treatment, be it psychotherapy, be it medication, be it exercise, those things seem to attenuate, lessen a lot of the problems yeah. I'll be talking about. So there's, there's some good and news. religion becomes a problem. And the ultimate good news is that once we understand this process, we'll be problem. in a much better position, I think in All five chemicals. to ten years, to make radically different kinds of treatments available. Cortisol, and it's called the H, I'll be referring to the HPA axis. That's the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Yep. So in the brain, we all have the bottom, that. kind of toward the bottom of the brain, there's the hypothalamus, which is the main regulator of all hormones in the body. Yep. And that releases a substance called corticotropin releasing factor that travels just a little bit to something called the pituitary, which is the master gland of the body. That releases um, factors that then travel to the, pitu to the um, thyroid and the adrenal and the um, um, pancreas, uh, the gonads, um, to signal what those hormones should be doing. So you get a um, from the hypothalamus to the pituitary, and then the pituitary sends a signal that goes a long distance called ACTH, it travels through the blood and it goes to the um, adrenals, which sit on top of the kidneys. ACTH stands for adrenocorticotrophic hormone. So um, adreno, adrenal um, is the adrenal gland, and trophic means it um, 
um, supports, it nourishes, it helps grow, so it yes. feeds the um, now, this is science. so it can release this more is cortisol. Science. See, our sanity and atheism, mental health, depends on how, how balanced our brain is between being able to tell between fantasy and reality. What's uh, important is that when the brain people, when the uh, individual psychotic, is stressed, the they don't understand about science, an anything. alert signal in the form of corticotropin releasing factor, and this whole axis gets stimulated. And that the creating gods is you have with more cortisol their released. brain. How does the body do that? Well, cortisol is actually all these chemicals critical inside the brain. If you don't have cortisol, you die. Okay. You absolutely need cortisol yeah, to live. cortisol and all that. that I'll and be all that related to the thinking that they're believing all this bullshit. Thing. When you release cortisol, it's like it's the cortisol goes to a lot of different places, but it also goes to the pituitary, back to the hypothalamus, and in the brain. The brain is very permeable to cortisol, so if yes. cortisol is released in the blood, it'll get into the brain and it can alter the neurotransmitters. I like, that we, yeah, I like to give some Christians, uh, you know, cortisol. Extra cortisol is so what happens. One ask oneself, in the current model of depression, how does someone become deficient in norepinephrine or serotonin? Yeah. One possible mechanism is you're born with it. Another That's possible right. mechanism Genetics. is your cortisol level gets too high because you're stressed. That a lot of people have defective brain, the brain that tend to believe in God. It's acceptable to, to believe in God. Norepinephrine this happens. You know. Okay. There are three major ways that I'll show you. One is, it's called genomic. That means it works within the genes on the DNA. There's another mechanism that's not genomic. And then there's trophic versus atrophic. That means it can actually actually sustain or damage tissue. Tissue, in this case, being the brain or the hippocampus yeah. in particular. And if you believe in God and all so that, this is a, little bit a lot of, of these stuff are um, damaged. An overloaded slide, but that's what increases your belief. Because uh, I think it's a little you, bit You cannot understand, understand reality. You think this all these imaginary right friends here, are real. This is the outer brain, yeah. okay? Um, a steroid hormone is circulating in the blood. The hormone goes through well, the... this happen when you're believing um, in God and thinking, when you go to church. All this stuff is happening in your brain. It can bind to various when you're, when you're believing in receptors. God and your brain and your on your knees, glucose this happening. receptor, the progesterone receptor, things like that. And if you don't and know anything about science, complexes can go the brain is doing all this the stuff. Nucleus. This is and see, everything I post here is based on facts. Unfortunately, there are some people that, uh, you know, they have a, they feel bad and uh, they true hurts, like um, in wild card, somebody that uh, is posting videos, uh, you know, like if it was me and attacking me and uh, the man, it doesn't even show his face, his coward, probably, probably, probably his uh, parents are brother and sister and, uh, you know, he has defective genes and is very unattractive and that's the reason he doesn't show his face. But attacks me saying two plus two equals five or six. Completely in a bad uh, shape. And I know it through her, so I feel sorry for the guy. But the truths are here in all of medicine, in all of biochemistry, that a signal can go it's, right it's into the It's all chemistry, all this. Fully Nothing to do with any God or all the, the crap DNA, on the imaginary friends, the because they do not exist. Increase or decrease you become a schizophrenic if you start believing in all these gods and all these stupid mechanism. things like and that. That's why steroid hormones... The thing is that love and hate, emotions, come from the brain. There is no God. That's a fact. When Insel examined the vole's brains, he discovered that two substances were released when they made it, and vasopressin. They are neurotransmitters, the chemicals that carry messages along the neural network. And we all have them in our brains. In a part of the brain called the hypothalamus, which is connected to virtually every other part of the brain. The hypothalamus is the source of some of our most basic instincts. We have a lot of faith and schizophrenics, uh, people with Down syndrome. So I have friends like that that completely delude. They have a problem, and um, just like all religious people, you know. And I do feel sorry for them, and I hate their illness. That's just why I'm doing all these videos to expose the illness that affect all these people of faith, delusions. We're in the 21st century. We create everything with the brain. That's a completely fact. That's a sad truth, but it's a fact. There is no God, it's the creation of the brain. So people like Ann Wildcard and other deluded folks that really need help because they cannot create their own videos because they're extremely ignorant. They had no idea about their world, about life. Um, they, um, uh, they should go see a neurologist and get educated. You know, a brain is an awful thing to waste. And remember, the more you know, the the more difficult it is for other people to lie. Pace di oro.